Disclaimer, I filmed two videos in one day. That's why I have on the same outfit as last video. Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah, and if you are new to the channel, welcome to today's video. Girl, you clicked on this video because you're feeling ugly, and like, I get it. But you're not ugly, you just aren't confident. But we're gonna fix that with a little few tips and tricks to boost your confidence and your self-esteem. So if you want more videos like that, make sure you leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. So number one, you really need to get to know yourself. And I mean really, really, really get to know yourself. Write out a list of all of your positive attributes. And I mean all of them. That means physical, mental, emotional, all of them you have got to be able to pull out and recognize what makes you bomb what makes you like this great human being what makes people gravitate towards you what makes people love you so much like you've got to be able to know that about yourself so once you make that list of things you'll be able to start everything in this video number two practice affirmations i love this one because i have this thing that i do like for my mom she her love language is words of affirmation and so what i do for her like every six months i don't even know however long i started making these jars for her and they're like little handwritten notes some of them are on hearts some of them are on sticky notes some of them are just on paper and she's able to pull something from the jar every single month or not every single month i'm sorry every single day and see like you know get a, get a positive word of affirmation and i love this because sometimes you can be down in the dumps you could be having a bad day and you forget about the jar. Like you don't even think about like, you know, the jar and like you randomly walk past it and you pull it out and it says, you're absolutely stunning. Like that makes you smile to just think about like somebody thoughtfully made this for me or like I made this for myself and I forgot that I even wrote that. I'm not saying you have to make a jar, but like I know some people put sticky notes on the mirrors. I know some people journal. I know some people have like, I have a book and I write and it's called like Today I Affirm. And there are all these different affirmations of myself. And so whatever way that you like to do it is f totally fine. Just figure out a way that you can affirm yourself each and every day. Number three, work on your physical appearance. And so what I mean by this is what whatever makes you feel most beautiful, whether that's your natural hair, <clears throat> whether that's a certain hair color, lashes, no lashes, a certain nail color, a certain nail length, whatever that is for you, try to keep that up consistently. Try to make that your look because you will feel so freaking good about yourself every single time like that you look in the mirror like I have friends that their signature look is only French tips and every time they get those French tips they feel like that girl like it's just their signature I know people that only get like side parts and every time they get their side part a fresh side part they feel like that girl once you find your signature thing and like you work on your appearance and you start to love, love how you look in the mirror, your confidence level will go up so much. Number four, pamper yourself, but don't go over budget. I struggle with this because I do like nice things and I do feel like if I want it, I can have it. That is not necessarily the most positive mindset to have, but what I will say is that I, I have a friend, she budgets in every month to go to the spa. And I love that because it's something that's in her budget that's already planned every single month that doesn't hurt her pockets too much. So plan something like that. And it might not be the spa because I know the spa can be pricey, but it might be making you a list. That's what I do. I made a list of things that I want and that I got, I'm like, oh my God, I have to have. And I'm trying to only buy one thing as a reward to myself when I complete certain things. I don't wanna over, over spend my pockets. I don't wanna like go in debt again. Like, I don't wanna keep doing that. Like, there have been times like I've just been buying, 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 and then I'm broke. Like, girl, you can't be doing that. So do it smartly, pamper yourself smartly, or you can just save extra money and then do like a very big pamper type of day. Number five, eat whole, well-rounded, balanced meals. Now, I, I have to say, this changed my life. I, in high school, I could eat whatever. I was so skinny, like I could literally eat whatever I wanted to eat whenever. After I left college though, 
mm -mm, not so much. Like very quickly, I saw I can't eat whatever. So I had to turn my whole freaking diet around. And once I turned my diet around, like I realized my energy increased, I felt better, I was less bloated, like I felt better. This y'all will be such a game changer, especially like if you're trying to slim down or look more toned or work on your physique, you've gotta eat well balanced meals. Number six, move your body some type of way a couple times a week. Like, Two, three times a week is a good start, whether that's just a walk, whether that's just getting on a treadmill, whether that's going to the gym and lifting, whatever it is, make sure you are incorporating. I was a girl that was like, I don't like the gym, I'm not going to the gym. But after I figured out a routine of going to the gym, it has helped me so much to stay consistent in getting that exercise done. And it makes me feel good when I'm done. It makes me want to look at myself and be like, oh girl, I see you dropping a few pounds, like, okay, you look good in this today, or you look cute in your workout set. It makes me feel so good about myself to know that I'm in a place where I'm trying to better myself and I'm trying to make myself look better. Number seven, take your supplements. This kind of goes back to the whole well-rounded meals. Taking your supplements is so vital to your health care. When you start taking your vitamins and supplements consistently, I promise you, you will notice a difference. I, girl, you will notice such a big difference in your energy level and like your bloating and your acne. Like it'll be such a game changer. You will be so shocked about it and you'll feel good. Like you'll feel energized and you'll feel lighter. You'll feel less foggy and groggy and get a, get a good, get a good primary care physician and ask them what they recommend to you and then start your supplement journey there. And last but not least, Find your personal style. This is something that I'm so excited to have done by the end of the year. I I feel like I've always had one like type of style bracket and it's athleisure. And like I technically I, I can wear athleisure everywhere, but like ah, what if I want to go out to a nice dinner? What if I want to go to the club? What if I want to go to a basketball game? What if I want to go like I don't know, like anywhere. I don't have nice escalated clothes that I can wear that I feel like fit my body type. And so that has been my journey this year to try to find all the nice quality items that fit my body style because some stuff just don't look right on me. And that's the tea about shopping. You have to figure out what looks good on you, what's flattering on you, and then add that to your collection because you can't be buying stuff that don't look good on you and then saying that's your personal style because that ain't gonna be cute, friend. <laughs> That wraps up this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. I am still on this journey of figuring out all of these things as well. I always want to say that at the end of every video because I'm not perfect and I'm always learning and growing. So if you would, leave some comments down below to let me know some tips and tricks that you are doing to build up your confidence to make you feel beautiful because I love to hear them and I love to take them in as well. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.